Good morning, guys. Um, this is going to be my second video in the uh, little series about logical coyote trapping. In in this part of the series, I want to talk about gloves. You know, I'm going to go into scent control and uh, talk about gloves and boots, but boots will be on another video because I've I've tried to make this all in one video before, and it just is. It ends up being way too long, and, and I don't think anyone's going to sit there for a 25-minute video. So uh, I want to talk about gloves in this portion of my little series. Um, so I want to talk about what kind of gloves to use. Okay, personal, my personal preference for trapping is rubber gloves. I, I do not like to use leather gloves. I don't like to use cloth gloves. I have used them before. So, I mean, we'll just leave that at that. I don't make it a practice to use cloth or leather gloves, and this is the reason why. Um, I handle my lures barehanded. So, after, after I make a set and I apply my lures and baits, you know, you, you tend to get a little touch of lure here or a little bit of bait there on your hands, you know, just, just messing with it. And uh, over time that scent accumulates on your hands. Well, I don't know if you guys have ever, like, really went out and put, you know, put 25 sets out in one day. It's a lot of work. But whenever you're putting out that many sets, you, you tend to get sweaty, and your hands tend to get wet from being in the gloves. So if you have any kind of lure or bait smells on your hands and you're trapping with leather gloves... As your hands sweat, the more you set traps, the wetter your gloves get on the inside, and the more that lure or bait tends to penetrate cloth or leather gloves. Um, whenever those smells penetrate your gloves and you continue to set traps, what you're actually doing is transferring the lure and bait smells to your traps, and you end up having... A major scent issue on your line you'll you'll start to get traps dug up and everything because that is the initial source of where the coat smells the lure if if that makes any sense um with rubber gloves you can handle your lures barehanded you can uh do whatever you need to do barehanded after you put your trap in the ground and whenever you go to stick your hands into your gloves for your second trap and you grab that trap to go put into the ground, you don't have to worry about any lure or bait smells penetrating those leather gloves and being applied to your trap before you put it in the ground. I hope you guys understand, you know, I don't. it's kind of hard to tell how clear I'm making it by just saying that. But, um... Leather gloves and cloth gloves, they, they have no place on my trap line. That's why I use rubber gloves. But um I I've even set sets I've even set traps barehanded and caught coyotes. But it's I I don't make stuff like that a practice. You know, that that's happened before whenever I've lost a glove. Or, you know, something of that nature. And if I do have to put my hands my bare hands on a trap. I, I only use the palms, you know, the palms of my hand, and maybe a pinky to flip my dog over. You know, I'll take my palms, and I'll press the trap down, and I'll take my pinky and flip the dog over my pinky and pick the pan up. And then whenever I let up, you know, on the levers, the trap is pretty much set, you know, and all I have to do is just reach under the free jaw and click my pan down to, to make the night latch. So, I mean, don't be so don't don't be too concerned about transfer of human scent to your traps, because I don't think human scent is where the problem is with trapping. Coyotes are they're very they're very aware of human scent. They they you know they may associate it with danger. I don't know how they associate. It. I haven't had a coyote to tell me that, but um. 
apparently they don't associate it with danger very much. Now, I was laying in bed this morning and I was watching the news and they were talking about Chicago, Illinois. And in the Windy City, I mean literally downtown, and I don't know how they came up with this number, but they said that there are actually 2,000 coyotes that live in downtown Chicago. That sounds a little, that sounds a little outrageous to me. But they did say something that was very interesting. Over the last couple years, they have actually caught 900 coyotes in downtown Chicago and put radio tracking collars on those animals. 900 coyotes in downtown Chicago. So, let's go back to the logic of human scent and coyotes. If there are 900 coyotes living in downtown Chicago, do you think it's going to bother you a whole lot to handle a trap with your bare hands? I don't think so. You know, I mean, you just don't want to readily volunteer, you know, lay down on the ground and just wallow all over the ground. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think that any mishap with you coming in contact with your trap is going to hinder your trapping. Like I said, once again, I've set traps barehanded. I've set them with cloth gloves, leather gloves, and rubber gloves. I only choose rubber gloves because of scent penetration. You know, if, if at any time your scent, the lures or bait penetrates through a leather or cloth glove, well, then you start, you know, on each subsequent trap that you set after that, you're continuously applying scent, applying scent to your following traps. And, uh, and I can tell you this. Buy yourself a pair of rubber gloves. You know, set all your traps with your rubber gloves. Then apply your lures barehanded and your bait barehanded. And do that for one week. And try not to get any lure at all or any bait or anything on your hands. Try that for one week and then smell the inside of those rubber gloves at the end of the week. That should let you, that should give you a very good indicator of whether, whether to wear leather, cloth, or rubber gloves. Uh, <laughs> I think you'll be surprised even trying not to get any scent on your hands. You'll be surprised at how much you get inside those gloves. But, um, this is just, you know, I want to make a, a, a series of videos to let people know that they don't need to be so uptight about trapping and scent control so much. Whenever I talk about scent control, I talk, I'm, what I'm talking about is the transfer of lure and bait smells to your traps. So, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. Don't, don't keep the human element in there so much. And also, um, I just want you guys to know that the coyotes are not, they're not as smart as you are. So don't give, don't give them the upper hand on you. If you put a set out and a coyote finds it, just rebed your trap. Just rebed your trap. Don't, don't try to, uh, interject any guesswork in there and try to figure out what, you know, oh, did I do this wrong or did I do that wrong? See, you put the coyote above you, above your intellect whenever you do that. Coyotes are not as smart as people think they are. They're, you know, I've, I've had people tell me, oh yeah, and whenever you're out there on your line making your sets, those coyotes are watching you. They're watching you. You know, it, it almost makes you feel like they're this super animal. Personally, I don't believe that. If there was any truth in that, um, the farm over there where I've been trapping, there have been 34 stupid coyotes over there. Because if I saw someone setting a trap for me, 
I don't think I would go to it and step in it. So you guys just, you know, kind of stew on that for a little while. Coyotes are not that smart. They're very easy to catch if you can find them. And when you find them, you put your sets out correctly, bed your trap solid, you'll catch the coyotes. So anyway, I've let this video run long enough. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this series. I think it's going to be very revealing for a lot of trappers. And it may, you know, it may uh, cause people to change their mind about me or, you know, I, it is what it is. I trap, I have fun, I don't worry about scent, and I pull in coyotes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and there will be more to come. Thanks for watching.